comes to trends, what, old, what is old often becomes new again. Bomber jackets introduced in World War II that were popular in the 80s, they're in style again. Same with skinny jeans. But there's one illegal trend that's making a comeback in cities all over the country. And as Local 12's Deborah Dixon tells us, it has teen drivers on a collision course. Historians believe drag racing stems from prohibition when bootleggers outran police. The dangerous hobby returned in the 50s, depicted in movies such as Rebel Without a Cause. It's trending again all over the country. But now the streets are busier, dragsters go faster. There is a high price for speed. In the wreckage of this car, Middletown police found an oversized turbocharger, a power boosting nitrous oxide tank, and two dead teenagers. Passenger Kristen Norris was killed 10 days before her 18th birthday. From the moment that they told me that Kristen had died, every day, brings a degree of pain. Eyewitnesses say the driver of the car Kristen was in took off in a burst of speed here on Roosevelt. Police say it was going about 96 miles an hour when it skidded into a telephone pole, nearly breaking in two. This notion that it will never happen to me, well, the cemeteries are full of kids that said that. Kristen said it all the time. I always think about them. Um, I don't, I don't know either one of them, but I always think about them anytime I'm doing anything with this car. Kenny King is a school resource officer with a race car. It's a 68 Chevelle, has a 468 big block, runs about 1093 and a quarter mile, jumps the front tires about knee high off the ground. The kids that would never uh, talk to a cop, this gives them a reason to come and talk to me. All of a sudden it's cool. There's no mirrors. No mirrors? Yes. Yeah, no mirrors. No <laughs> drag strip. You don't need them because you don't have to worry about it. You, if you're winning, the guy's behind you, you don't care. As you can see, it's got the roll cage in it. Um, that way, if you crash, you're protected. Officer King's point. This driver legally racing here at Tri-State Dragway crashes with a helmet, seat belt, and a rescue squad nearby. On the street, it could have ended up off the road and around a pole. I think drag racing, you know, people do it because they want to be popular and try to fit in with other kids. And, you know, it's, it's really starting to be big. With the cool car comes a message. I need you to stay in school. You need you to stay off alcohol, stay off drugs, and no street racing. You know, when you take an ocean, you want a street race, mm -hmm. call me, and I'll take you to track and I'll race you. Okay? okay. Yes, sir. All right? Thank you. And that's what it's all about. And they do. Officer King remembers a young man who caught up with him years after he took him to the racetrack. I got him hooked up with the track. He was 16 years old. He heard his name on the speaker, and uh, he, he thought he was in heaven. I've, I've had at least one kid tell me, Officer King, you're the greatest. I'll never street race again. Linda Patton hopes young people hear her message, too. Think about the decisions you make, because it might be fun to go fast, um, just a snap decision. It probably is, but that decision can have a big price tag at the end of the day, and you will end up six feet under. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Officer King is a member of the group Beat the Heat. It's a national nonprofit organization of police officers and firefighters who use drag racing cars to bring attention to safety issues. If you want to learn more about the program, we've posted a link at our website at local12.com.